welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we taste the Edward Dower Barolo cask matured single malt whiskey. Barolo, Barolo is an Italian wine and its origin lies in the northwest of Italy in the Piemont. There's a small village called Barolo and the wine yards around this are allowed to call its, uh, its whiskies, its wines, Barolo. Um, the specialty of Barolo is that you have to fill uh, your bottles with a hundred percent Barolo wine, other are with the same grapes, um, other says well you have to mix, uh, you have to do an assemblage, uh, add some other wines, bring it milder, make it milder. And this one 100% and then the fermentation takes place in, in botti. This is uh, oak wood uh, vats and with the uh, peel of the grapes and this brings hefty aroma into the wine and uh, it has grenadine color and lots of tannin from the botti uh, are go into the wine and it's very hefty and in the past uh, you had to to mature the wine for 15 or 20 years in the bottle uh, to bring it down to a well suitable taste. Today there are younger uh, uh, winters there who want to have their money the return of their investment faster and so they just uh, ferment only uh, fortnight, uh, 14 day, two weeks uh, in those body uh, so that the uh, the tannins and the strong aromas are not that intense in the wine uh, and you can sell it after five or seven or eight years. So, and the rest is marketing blur blah blah. Um, so we have a red wine, uh, Hogshead Barrick uh, cask, and this is freshly empty, emptied and filled with Eredawa, new spirit. And here in the back, he says, the proprietor Andrew Symington, since acquiring Eredawa in July 2002, I have pursued a modest program of experimentation with a type of cask used to mature some of the Eredawa spirits not needed to support our standard 10 year old product. In late March and early April 2006, we filled a small batch of 32 freshly dumped Barroso hogsheads which new make at our spirit. I have monitored the progress of maturation and have been surprised at just how quickly the cars have imparted a vibrant color and a great depth of flavor and character into the spirit. Now, I was invited to the Eredauer distillery in 2005, I think, and uh, Andrew showed me uh, uh, the progress those casks already made and they were they were already color in the whiskey and taste was in the whiskey so maturation takes quite fast in these freshly filled um, French oak casks from the Piemont. Bottled in April 2014 this first release is limited to 2450 bottles. You need mm, eight casks for those number of bottles. He had 32 freshly dumped casks. So uh, this is uh, batch one. There will be two, three and four, I guess. Or if the batches increase in numbers, uh, then perhaps we will end up at three. <laughs> and perhaps the year after he bought again a freshly dumped cap. You don't know. I think there will be a sufficient supply of these. Um, bottles, but they are not that cheap. In contrast, they are quite expensive. Um, not to uh, mix them up with the uh, smaller bottles with a half a liter in it, with these uh, colored wooden boxes. This is only finishing whiskey. I think there is a Barolo uh, finishing bottle also available on the market. This is much more elegant and smooth and 
matching. So distillery character and cask and fruit and everything is matching on the same level. There's a little alco alcoholic note in the front, 46%. Yes. And there's a fruity note. Yes. Like cherries. Yes, the Piemont is very famous for their Piemont cherries. But no, no cherries. It's it's a fruit. It's yes, it's a red fruit. I can't say which. Perhaps cherries. Yes. Sweet. Fruity. In the cask, are coming from behind. There's some mild spiciness. Some caramel. And the fruit is much more intense than in the Chardonnay cask. Mouth-filling, mouth-watering, intense, and a spiciness and fruitiness, sweetness, and a, a very light bitterness is coming up like dark chocolate or espresso coffee. Italian, Italia, Bella Italia. Yeah, and now this fruitiness. Ah, this is complex, this is full. And I think it's on the top of maturation. Just filled in the right time. Oh. Wonderful. Have a look at your local dealer. Hurry up to get some bottles. But I'm afraid they're not that cheap around 70 or 80 euros, perhaps a hundred dollars. Uh, and it's limited, but there will be more batches to come in the future. There's still a cask left, as he said, on the back of the label. There's more to come. Stay tuned and feel free to share this video with your friends and have a look at our database where there is a full chapter and pictures of the Eredauer distillery and we will have an Eredauer video in the future. Or do we have already? I'm not quite sure. Stay tuned.